and Julie Neal from Priory Middle School in Dunstable are here, as well as Thomas McMillan and Sonia Lyon from Western Turville Combined School, Joe Wallinger and Louise Allenby from Robert Bloomfield Middle School, and from Flittick, the Woodland School, Anthony Doble and Lucy Norton. Now, before the programme, we had a draw to find out which three teams go first, so let's meet our first three contestants. <laughs> So first of all, we welcome back Thomas McMillan and Sonia Lyon, our red team. Do you feel confident? Yeah. No. <laughs> Answered with confidence. And our green team, Julie Press and James Terrett, how about you? Well, not really. Not really? Of course you, you'll do very well. And up here, our yellow team, there's Julie Neal and there's Andrew Taylor. What about you? You think you're going to get it to them? You're going to win? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course you are. All right. Well, let's start the game with a round of applause then, please. Yeah. And the first round is an observation round, and we've changed the rules slightly for the final. Everybody has a go at answering this. It's against the buzzer when we ask the questions. Right, now have a look at this piece of film and see how much you can remember. It's a clip from the new Crocodile Dundee film where our hero, Mick Dundee, finds New York isn't quite as innocent a place as he first thought, especially when he's pursued by a crazed gunman in the subway. <laughs> Right, the brand new Crocodile Dundee movie. Right, fingers on the buzzers, and here we go. What was the woman courier carrying? Yellow. A clipboard is correct. How many shots were fired? That's red. One. One is correct. What was the name of the station? Yellow. Hoyt is correct. How many pillars did Crocodile Dundee hide behind? That's yellow. Two. Two is correct. Well done, very fast. How does Crocodile Dundee overcome the baddie? That's green. He shoves a litter bin over his head. Absolutely correct. Wow, wee, that was a fast one. Gracious me. You can see we've got to the final now. Let's move on. And this is another against the buzzer round. So if you're ready, here we go. What is the name of King Arthur's sword? Also the name, okay, that's green. Excalibur. Well interrupted. Now this is a film term. It's something you might hide behind or a surface on which films are shown. That's red. Screen. Screen is correct. Well done. On what type of vehicle do Cliff Richard and his friends travel around Europe on their summer... Bus. Bus is correct. I was going to say holiday and Red have got the point. Who was the Caped Crusader's partner? Red. Robin. Robin is correct. They are very fast. What kind of animal is Fozzy? That's bear. yellow. A bear. Well done. In the Disney cartoon The Fox and the Hound, where did Widow Tweed take Todd to get him away from Amos Slade? That's green. Is it the forest? Yeah, we'll give you that. It was the National Park, but that's not far enough. Right, OK. And now on to our second observation round. If you're ready, get your pens out. Of course, they have to remember as much as they possibly can. The pressure's on with it being the final. And our next clip is from the new film Dragnet. Here we witness a scene in the police department in the troubled city of Los Angeles. Many aspects of the peace officer's routine have changed since my Uncle Joe's time. Now there are new methods, new philosophies, new equipment. The standard service revolver and simple lead sap have given way to taser guns and anodized metal batons. But there's one thing that never changes. The face of crime. It just gets bigger and badder and uglier every day. My partner's name is Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Gannon. My name's Friday. Joe. Captain. Frank's late. Must have been held up in traffic. Frank won't be coming in today, Joe. 24-hour virus? Or tomorrow. 48. Frank quit. Bought a goat farm. Moved to Ukiah. Every man has a dream to chase. Frank's was that goat farm. I love those sort of movies. Absolutely fabulous. She walked past my window. I was impressed. I was on the third floor. She was a redhead. No hair, just a redhead. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how you do. Are you ready? How many cigarette stubs were there in the ashtray? One. One is correct. 
What was the newspaper called? That's right. The Los Angeles red. Tribune. The Los Angeles Tribune is correct. <laughs> Not even letting me finishing the questions here. What did the headline say? That's yellow. Pagan Rampage continues. Absolutely correct. What was Joe Friday's partner's name? Frank. Frank is correct. And what was the reason for Frank leaving the force? Yellow. He was going to a goat farm in Ukiah. Absolutely correct. Whew. Now then, at the end of that round, let's have a look at the scores so far. The red team have 30 points, the green team 15, and the yellow team 35. Yeah! And so, yeah! consolation prize time, but well done. You did very, very well indeed. There's some uh, Crocodile Dundee stuff there, a couple of T-shirts, and a Crocodile Dundee clock each. Right, there you are. You. When it wakes you up in the morning, it bites your foot off. Okay, and there's some more down here for our green team. There you are. Thank James, you. Julie, Thomas, Sonia, thank you very much indeed, and well done. Yeah. And congratulations to our yellow team, to Andrew and Julie. We will see you in a moment when you go through to Real 2. to Real 2 and we meet our next three teams now. You've got a lot to beat there, haven't you? What a cracking round that was. First of all, our blue team. There's Jenny Bates and Sao Odin. Nice to see you back. Feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Our white team. First time we've had a white team. Anthony Doble and Lucy Norton. Good to have you back as well. You feeling okay? Yeah. Not too nervous? No. And team six, our orange team, Joe Wallinger and Louise Allenby. Nice to have you back. Good tan, by the way, Louise. That's looking great. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yeah! And we start with another observation round. So it's notepads out at the ready. See how much you can remember. In this scene from the Steven Spielberg film Empire of the Sun, Jim and Basie have been sent to a Japanese detention centre, and Basie teaches Jim the basics of survival. Basie. Basie. No. You can't drink water from the water bug. There are people dying here. Listen to me. We can drink boiled water. Boiled water? Many thanks, Basie. And now it's chow time. Come on, you gotta get in line. Keep the ball in play, light on your toes, first in line. I think your father would agree with you. Actually, Basie, he would agree with you. After the war, you two should have a game of tennis sometime. He's really good. Now, I want you to get Mrs. Partridge's potato while you're up. I think she died, Basie. She died, Jim, but she didn't hand in her dinner pail. Go. Go on. Hurry. And Ace, don't forget to bow to the sergeant. From Steven Spielberg's Empire of the Sun. Fingers on the buzzers and here we go. What was Basie playing with? That's white. 10p. A coin. That'll be good enough, yes. What did Basie take out of his pocket? That's blue. A bottle Bot of boiled water. Correct. Jim told Basie that after the war, he and his father should... Tennis. Tennis. Have a game of tennis. Correct. What did Basie ask Jim to get from Mrs. Partridge? Potatoes. Her potato. Correct. What did Basie tell Jim not to forget to do? Blue. Out to the sergeant. Correct. Well done. Another fast round. <laughs> I can't read them fast enough for you, can I? Right, OK, here we go. These are questions against the buzzer. So, can you name Asterix's inseparable friend, White? Obelix. Obelix. And there's a picture of him there. This is a film term, a kind of handwriting or the document from which actors learn their words. Blue. Script. Script is correct. What type of animal is Bagheera in Disney's version of the Jungle Book? Orange. Panther. A panther is correct. What was the name of Batman and Robin's car? White. Batmobile. The Batmobile. What is the sequel to Romancing the Stone? Blue. Jewel of the Nile. Correct. When Cinderella left the ball, she left something behind. Blue. Plastic slipper. A sh 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it was a glass slipper. What is Fred Flintstone's favourite sport? White. Bowling. Bowling is correct. I would have known that. Well done. Okay, another fast one. 
They're good here, they're pretty good, but it's another observation round now. And our last clip comes from the Aristocats. Here, O'Malley introduces Duchess and her children to some of his friends. Hey, it's got cat blow some of that sweet stuff my way. <laughs> well, looky here. Big man O'Malley is back in his alley. Swing on down here, Daddy. Place some skin on me, scat cat. Yeah. What I say, the paisan. Welcome home, O'Malley. Duchess, this is the greatest cat of them all. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you, Mrs. Cat's cat. Likewise, Duchess. You're too much. Oh, you are charming. And your music is so, so different. Oh, so exciting. Great film, The Aristocats. Okay, pens down, fingers on the buzzers, and here we go. How many instruments were the cats playing? Blue. Five. Five is correct. Can you name three of them? Blue. Cello, cello, accordion, piano. That'll do. What colour was the ribbon around Scat Cat's hats? Blue. Red. Red, Red is correct. What was the cat guitarist wearing? White. Oh, the hat. No, he's wearing beads and sunglasses. What we're after. What instrument was the cat with the hat and the spotted scarf playing? Blue. Trumpet. No, he was playing a concertina. A concertina. And at the end of that very fast round, let's have a look at the scores. The white team have 20 points, the orange team have 10 points, and the blue team have 45 points. Yeah! Well, well, well. It's prize time again, and to Joe and Louise, those are your Crocodile Dundee Excellent. clocks and T-shirts as well. Thank you very much indeed for taking part. Excellent contestants. It's been great fun having you along. And also our white team, to Lucy and to Anthony, those are your clocks as well and your T-shirts. Thank you very much indeed. And Sawa and Jenny, go on to Reel 2. Well done. Stephen, yes, that'll be fine. I'll send them through when they've won, all right? I'll get Steven Spielberg in there. Of course, through these doors, the big prize, meeting Steven Spielberg and watching him make his latest movie through the star movie maker's door. Who is going to be the star movie maker? They are over here. Are you ready? You know how it works by now. I asked you a nice, simple question to get you onto the board. Fastest on the light. Are you ready? Here we go. Who designs Bond's special equipment? <laughs> OK, so uh, Q. Q is correct, so that's one move for you. Up you go. Now, this one is worth two moves, and it's your question. Who wrote the book of the film, The Jungle Book? Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling, worth two. One, two. Yay! This one is worth two as well, OK? What's the surname of the family who journey to the Mosquito Coast? Oh. Oh, no? Fox. Here's a three. For Andrew and Julie is a film term. A player's departure from the stage or the way out of the cinema. Exit. Exit is correct. Three moves. One, two, three. Okay, here's your three. Oh, look, his face here again. Closer. <laughs> here's a three up. Joan Rivers stars with a pig, a bear, and a frog in a film set in Manhattan. What is the collective name of her co stars? Muppets. The Muppets. Absolutely correct. Three moves. One, two, three. Three. And in Disney's Winnie the Pooh, who did Rabbit dislike the most? Eel. No, it was Tigger. It was Tigger. This is worth two now for Sawar and Jenny. Mickey and Minnie play the Cratchits in which film? Mickey's Mickey Christmas Carol. Absolutely correct, and you're through the door. <laughs> now, this, is the, uh, this is the set building department. What you've got to do in 45 seconds is get as many pictures or posters up on the wall as you can, but they've got to be neat. Are you ready? Set, go! Get out of the way, That's it, slap it on there. Get it to work. Get it on there.
my eye. I shall close it, go to sleep tonight, it won't open again. OK, what have we got? One, two, three. They're quite neat, actually, so well done. That was coming off a bit, but that, yeah, that's all right. And this one's peeling off, and that one's... I think we'll give you three moves for that. Back up onto the boards. Yeah!